A property linked to the infamous Bonnie and Clyde was torn down by developers, even though there were previously steps taken to save it as a historical landmark. The West Dallas small home and former filling station was built while Clyde Barrow was in prison in the 1930s. He later used it to plan his robberies, but this week it was torn down. Fox 4 Davis and Tendry joins us with that story. David. Yeah, Blake, this is where the structure was standing. It was a piece of history and it was enjoyed by many people living in this community as they would drive by and see it each day. At the same time, there were some people who say they were conflicted with it being here given the criminal history of Bonnie and Clyde. People in West Dallas's Los Altos neighborhood cannot believe that what used to stand here is gone. It's part of the neighborhood. Some taking home pieces of what remains. How many bricks do you got here? I got 17 bricks. They're speaking of the Clyde Barrow family home and filling station. I miss seeing it when I drove by. I would always think of them and say a prayer for them. The property infamously tied to Bonnie and Clyde, notorious fugitives linked to 13 murders and a series of robberies and burglaries who were killed in an ambush in 1934. And so we understand that there were meetings there that took place there to plan some of the portions of the crime spree that Bonnie and Clyde went on. The Landmark Commission voted in 2020 to begin the process of preserving the property. But then the pandemic hit and City of Dallas suspended designations. They had a two year moratorium preventing it from being demolished, but that expired. The developer demolishing it earlier this week, according to city officials. We can't bring it back. There's city Council no member Omar Navarez wants to see if demolition could have been prevented and if anyone dropped the ball by allowing it. I don't know the answers. I just know that I've called upon the city manager and the city attorney to fully investigate this matter. In 2020, developer Brent Jackson spoke against preserving the property since it's tied to criminal activity. The guy murdered multiple, multiple, multiple people. Others, like Preservation Dallas's David Preziosi, believe it's an important piece of history. So I think it's important because it does tell the story. We need the story of Bonnie and Clyde. 77 year old Pete Antione, who's lived near the property since birth, you know, it's been there so many years, you know, plans to keep bricks he took from the site on display. I want to clean them up and then they'll be there always. People have been coming and going to see what was. A brick or something. I took some pictures already. Some believe the demolition points to an ongoing picture in West Dallas, tearing down the old for new development. You know, good or bad, he's part of the history, you know. Clyde Barrow's nearby childhood home is still standing. It's just around the corner, and the city says it's working with that property owner in hopes of preserving it.